Ah, fine, sir. Uh, so, Ritwik, uh, currently you are working with which company? Uh, KMG IT Services, Gurgaon. Gurgaon. And your total experience? Total is 4 years, 6 months, and relevant is 2 years. Yes, 2 years in Azure? Uh, no, AWS and all. Azure, I have a little bit of experience. Okay. And uh, <coughs> so, you do you have any certification? Nature or, or uh, I mean AWS? Uh, right now I am preparing for it. Uh, earlier I was a CCNA certified person. Okay. Uh, so, uh, okay. So, can you tell me um, what exactly you do in your current uh, project, your role and responsibilities? So, right now I am working in an hybrid environment in which 50% uh, of that includes IT internal operations and 50% of that includes cloud. So, if I talk about the internal operations, all the uh, like servers and networks and all those stuff and if I talk about the cloud, so all the resources which are required for the production environment, I get the requirement from the clients via call or mail and our task, uh, basically whole team is responsible for that and uh, our task is to uh, create those resources for production environment, their monitoring and all those stuff and uh, it's a software development company so little bit of it al also includes uh, devops part okay uh, what exactly do you do in devops so uh, basically if i talk about uh, the kubernetes so there is only one project and so kubernetes is not uh, very much in depth so my task is uh, in kubernetes is to install basic installation and do basic clustering and uh, rest of the tasks are uh, continued by their uh, client engineers. Apart from that, uh, 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 some doc uh, dockerization uh, take, uh, takes place. So my task is to uh, see the docker, their installation and their containerization. So these kind of uh, DevOps in DevOps we are using. Apart from that, uh, there are some monitoring tools based on the based upon the clients. So th that kind of these these are the Hmm. Have you created CD pipeline? Yeah, CI/CD. For that, uh, we have used Jenkins. Mm -hmm. What are the major steps while creating a CD pipeline? So first of all, uh, create an EC2 instance and install Jenkins. Uh, do changes in Java. Uh, supply correct uh, credentials. So after that, the Jenkins is uh, created. And apart from that, uh, after that, we have to create the jobs and uh, pull the code from uh, Git and uh, whatever the developer has pushed and apart from that uh, there are two ways to create the CICD pipeline one is to via scripting and uh, another one is declarative using uh, Jenkins files in which various stages are created and uh, if we want to uh, create uh, start and stop a pipeline uh, uh, like in an automated manner so we will use the build triggers or cron tabs so in this way the CI/CD pipeline works and apart from that uh, there are uh, various plugins so suppose uh, the node uh, js uh, projects are to be implemented so we will use the npm plugin so this kind of uh, using these uh, CI/CD so this is the these are the major steps to create uh, jenkins apart from that uh, inbuilt mailing service is also offered by the jenkins and if you want to give the user level access or uh, so we can give the uh, restricted privileges to users and create users okay. and uh, uh, how how to create a vm image vm image in uh, so vm image is created in uh, azure and yeah. ec2 are created in aws okay so, so okay. if i talk about uh, Azure, so go to services and create the VM according to our requirement. If I talk about the AWS, uh, go to the their console, go to EC2 instances. After that, uh, uh, create uh, security groups and uh, choose the AMIs according to our requirement and all those stuff. And uh, uh, also specify how, num uh, how many EC2 instances are to be created and if there is any scripting that is to be pushed before the creation of EC2 instances for that use 
user data script and all the all those uh, stuff and apart from that uh, uh, inbuilt active directory is also there in cloud so that gives uh, initially that option is given also that we want to join the particular ec2 instance to a particular domain so there are various types of okay okay uh, which operating system you are familiar with so i am familiar with the uh, linux and windows and little bit of mac so mac has been recently introduced in uh, aws okay which are all the commands you are using in linux all the general commands uh, uh, which are to be used to uh, manage the server so like uh, like means uh, so i if i give you the scenario so suppose if i want to install uh, any uh, software say splunk right uh-huh. so we will go to their documentation w get and after that uh, get the link right install that and uh, up, uh, first of all update the packages after that ls hyphen ltr it will show whether that package is present or not and then continue with all over all the all that stuff and in linux basically all majority of the changes are done using the configuration file so those can be found out in vendors uh, documentation okay what is pass the yeah. pass is a platform as a service so suppose uh, like uh, if i talk about uh, our laptop so the windows is uh, sas and the laptop is a platform as a service so in if i talk about in aws so the services like lambda and ec2 those kind of uh, <coughs> resources are platform as a service so platform is basically in layman language uh, if i talk about any building so the foundation of the building is known as pass okay all right um arithmetic